Muskie? Yep, yep, you got one. Welcome back to another episode on our hunt for the Giants of Georgian Bay. Today's target, Muskie. Let's get into it. There she goes. Confidence. It's one of those intangible, unquantifiable factors to success. It can take a lifetime to build or appear out of nowhere and be destroyed in seconds or slowly deteriorated over time. It's a difference maker, your greatest asset or biggest liability. This season, the muskie fishing has been on another level. To say the confidence is high is an understatement. When you're dialed into the fish behavior and don't need to spend time or energy questioning what you're doing, the results just seem to fall. Showing up to the launch with enough time to fish before dark, you make the run to a confident spot. Muskie? Looks like it. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. It's a muskie. It's a muskie. Cool. This trip is already off to a good start. The plan for this trip is to work a few high percentage areas. The water didn't get that warm this summer, and so a lot of fish stayed shallow. With the cooling waters, weeds dying off, and the full moon, big fish activity should be high. Mixing in trolling and casting will allow us to quickly cover the big shallow water flats we suspect the fish to be hiding. Yep, yep, you got one. There you go. Don't, don't change anything. Yeah, bud. <laughs> oh, that was quick. We're on the board for real. 42? Yep. 42. 42. Nice. Started up, man. There she goes. We've got a long run to meet up with the others back at camp. Despite how nice the day looks, the wind has been howling and the open stretches are rolling. As we battle the waves, we can't help but get flashbacks to a few years ago when we needed to leave camp and head home in six to seven footers late in October. An adventure we never wanted to have to repeat. After spending what felt like forever getting into a new area without even wetting a line, thoughts of wasted opportunities and a bad decision were running through our minds. Even in high percentage areas, you need to be fishing as much as possible to capitalize when the fish decide to feed. Despite the voices, it's a gut feeling that this area fits the pattern we are confident in that keeps us moving forward. The time spent getting into the spot instantly becomes worthwhile when we are followed by a high 40 inch class muskie as soon as we start to fish. Working the area, we are able to move three more big fish but can't get any to commit. Get up here, bud. Up here. Me? I guess so, but it's known as further video. Uh, video. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Nice fish. Look at that. 36 and a half here. Ready? 
fired up. Let's just hang out with us. Right into the boat. <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh, he's trying to go into the wind. What a weirdo. Yeah. That's what the 53 did. <laughs> this could be the longest release video you have. <laughs> yeah. Pretty though. Get out of here. <laughs> We're gonna catch you again. Yeah. This is so weird. We will consider today an investment. As the next time we come back, the trip in will be easier and we'll be able to work the area a lot more thoroughly yeah. to hit it when the fish decide okay. to eat. Today's the last day of the trip. While a few fish have hit the net, we aren't satisfied and are heading back to Confidence Water to try and secure a giant before heading home. With the long ride ahead of us, we won't get to spend the full day on the water and time is running out to put another fish in the boat. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's big. Maybe it's the expectation to catch that keeps us ready or just being able to work areas more deliberately. On this trip, confidence has been a difference maker.